Hello everyone! Part 2 challenge for change. And right now it's, it starts raining and so for me a good reason to stop and to uh, talk to you about another aspect of personal and professional change. Yeah? If you have the desire to uh, reach some change, to embrace some change, I got another idea. Last week we talked about a lifestyle to leave your comfort zone. Very helpful in embracing change. But today we talk about something else, about belief system. So we all got a certain belief system. Let's say I just talked to a person and I asked him, what do you think about the world? So maybe the person is going to say, the world is a dangerous place. I'm going to talk to another person. I ask the other person, hey, what do you think about the world? Maybe the person is going to say, well, the world is a beautiful place. Why? Because... Obviously, everyone has personal experiences and certain beliefs. Beliefs on the world, you know, about other people, about ourselves, about situations. And that's how we live. And beliefs, if we talk a bit about a belief system, can be conscious, semi-conscious, or even subconscious. And we don't even know that we do believe that. We just live and act and react without being aware of the belief system. I want to give you an example from my own professional life. So I've faced these challenges. I published in my books, How to Travel the World for Free, How to Border for Paradise, How do you turn an apple uh, into a house in Hawaii by bordering for bigger and better. So these were extreme challenges I faced. So before I left traveling around the world uh, to both of these uh, uh, challenges, I looked at my weaknesses. You know, and I've, I recognized one particular weakness. You know, I knew when I'm going to do these, like face these challenges, I have to be able to approach many people, unknown people each day with my, with my idea and say, hey, do you want to borrow? I can tell you a joke. You get me some food for free in how to travel the world for free, for example. Doesn't sound difficult and I'm not shy, but I recognized before I left to that trip on that trip, that, that it felt kind of difficult to, you know, to approach many people, just random people every day. There was something that didn't want me to do that. So I recognized a negative belief. And the negative, be negative belief said something like, well, it's kind of embarrassing to just um, approach random people and to involve them in your project. You're not supposed to do that. Something like that. So and I recognized, well, that's not necessary. Let's just change this belief you know, and turn it into a positive belief. So what is the positive belief? You know, I got a very interesting project and I'm going to give you the opportunity to be involved in this project with a little fun border deal and that's fine. Or in a short version, hey, it's absolutely fine to approach people and to uh, offer them uh, to be part of your project. So I recognize that. And that positive belief I wrote down, wrote down. In my little book, I got a notebook, a coaching notebook, and I wrote it down. And I wrote it down like one, once, ten times, hundred times, maybe five hundred times. Who knows? I don't know. But I wrote it down as long, you know, as I as I started to believe it. So it really, I could really integrate that belief, like in my in my psyche. So I I went. I was still not on that trip. So I just, you know, went went out on the street and, and just tested it. And after a while, I recognized it was much easier to just approach people because I believed, hey, it's a good thing what I do here. It's fun. Don't be embarrassed. So, yeah, well, that, that's about the belief system. And maybe you guys think about something. You know, maybe you had a situation or situations in your life and you felt like something is holding you back and you were not really sure what. Something didn't allow you to embrace change professionally or personally. Well, you might think about uh, your belief system. And if you spot something, yeah, take it out, turn it into a positive belief, and then, then, like a mantra, write it down, 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 and then, you know, check, check if you've integrated that positive belief. So, again, today, <laughs> this beautiful paper, it gets more and more beautiful in each episode, info at michaelwiggy.com is my email. If you like to share like, like anything around belief system with me, we, we can start a, um, a conversation and my-challenge-coach 
www.ivanpetrovic.com with all my coaching uh, services, um, life coaching and uh, um, career change coaching. Just check it out if you like. And I'm happy to hear from you. So it's still raining, but I'm going to take off. Thank you very much. And see you part three challenge for change. Bye-bye.